You saw an announcement uh, several months ago from the Canadian-based group Ceralon that's going to do a gas to liquids plant, uh, but we also got the AIC Energy down there. And I'm going to shift over to you, Kathy. If you could share share a little background with us on AIC Energy Corp in the SA Fuels X Sustainable Aviation Project. Now that's going to be located in Trenton. You know what is it, and what does it mean for innovation for us? Thank you so much for that question. In short, this facility will convert vegetable oil into vehicle fuels. Primarily jet fuels and diesel, although a limited amount of unfinished gasoline type liquids will also be produced. Now, most people are familiar with biodiesel. This is not biodiesel. Renewable fuels, unlike biodiesel, mimic the chemistry of fossil fuel. Renewable diesel meets the same state fuel specifications as petroleum diesel. It can be shipped on on existing pipelines and can be dispensed at existing retail stations. No retrofits to engines, no impacts to vehicle warranties. People may not even know that they are purchasing and using renewable diesel. Existing fuel dispensers uh, handle renewable diesel, traditional diesel, and any blend of the two. Renewable fuels are a true innovation, and the conversion is happening worldwide. Traditional petroleum refiners are even in the process of some of retooling some of their former refineries to produce renewable fuels. Unlike those revamped units, this project is not a retrofit. It will be new additional fuel production capacity in our state. And while we'll be capable of producing diesel fuel, its unique focus is on turbine fuel or what commonly is referred to as jet fuel. The industry designation for this specific renewable fuel is sustainable aviation fuel, abbreviated as SAF and pronounced SAF, hence the project name SAFX. Renewable fuels have been around for years, but until recent uh, moves by our governments and worldwide, they've incentivized its production. And until this incentives were created, it had been a minor source of fuels for vehicles. Renewable fuels do cost more, but renewable fuels produce between 50 and 80% less greenhouse gas than petroleum diesel, depending upon what feedstocks we use to actually create that fuel. AIC will eventually explore another emerging technology, carbon capture and sequestration, and possibly deploy it there. If so, the SAFX carbon footprint would be reduced even further. The facility will process about 100 million gallons per year of vegetable oil. That's approximately 6,500 barrels a day and qualifies as a mid-sized facility. The best product markets are currently on the east and west coasts. So products, as well as the vegetable oil feedstock, will be shuttled in and out via rail. We will connect by pipeline to the adjacent existing rail facility at Trenton. AIC expects to employ between 65 and 70 people directly, and another 35 to 40 jobs are expected at the adjacent rail port, facility contractors, and the truck transportation necessary to support our operation, plus local jobs to support this new workforce. That's 100 jobs Uh, in this area resulting from this facility. 